Hello guys, I'm Timon and you're probably wondering where Jordi is. Well, he can't be here today because he's working really hard on a project. Yes, the one where he went away to the Faru Islands, but I'm really happy to talk to you guys again. So, have you ever recorded a podcast but then didn't really know how to edit it? Don't you worry my friend, because today I'm gonna teach you how to edit your podcast like a professional. First, you wanna use a recording software. You need to record both the video and audio of all participants. Riverside is the sponsor of today's video. It is an awesome tool to capture the best audio and video quality when you record a podcast with remote guests. This application will record your video and audio locally from anywhere in the world, remotely, at the highest quality possible, up to 4K resolution. But what if I have a bad internet connection? You know, when the video freezes and the audio is choppy. Don't you worry, since Riverside records locally and not over the internet, it's able to keep the highest quality possible of the microphones and cameras used. The files won't be compressed, so the final product is really crisp. A powerful recording studio in your browser. In the meeting itself, the live version is of lower quality, but no worries, Riverside uploads the full quality recorded files to the cloud. We have been using Riverside a lot recently alongside more than 70,000 creators like Guy Raz, Gary V, even companies such as Spotify and the New York Times. Let's set up a studio to start recording. First you want to create a new studio. You can then give it a name, for example Premiere Basics Brainstorm. Choose a recording type and click enter studio. Now you can give yourself a name and select if you're using headphones or not. Then click on request camera permissions. One of the roles you can have is a producer. This is super helpful because you can adjust the participant settings and deal with the technical aspects of your recording without being recorded yourself. Then the host can focus on the recording and on the guests. Click on enter the recording studio and now you can invite people to the meeting. You can send them this link or you can invite them via email. They can then simply join the studio from your browser. No need to install anything. With this button you can start recording the participants video and audio. And you also have the ability to mute participants or change the input volume. After you're done recording it's time to edit it. If you go to record recordings, you will find all the recorded studio sessions here. Matisse and I had a brainstorm session, so I'm gonna open it up. And as you can see, there's a lot of things you can do here. For example, you can download the video and audio of all participants at once, or you can download the file separately. This comes in really handy when you want to have the file separately to edit it inside Premiere. Riverside has a built-in editor, which you can use to edit your podcast. Click on the edit button, and this will pop up a window where you can choose the type of content you like to create. You have the story option, which will work for stories, of course. And also the other short form content platforms like TikTok, Instagram and so on. If you want a square video, the post option is probably best for you. For YouTube videos, you should select the full length option. Now let's say you want to make a highlight for a story, then choose the story option. On top you can give your clip a name, you know, to stay organized. Here in the timeline you can select the part of the video you want to edit. You can do that by simply trimming the clip. Once your selection is made, we're gonna further customize it. Click this icon to open up the track list. Here you can enable or disable specific tracks. With this little drop down menu you can set the location of the track. If you only want the audio, simply click on the audio wave icon. With this button you can change the size of your video for when you've changed your mind. With the layout selector, choose between a grid or a grid with a gap. If you use the AI speaker layout, the editor will automatically detect who's speaking and then show that person on the screen. There are different layout options for this one as well. I like the grid with gap layout. Now I can also choose a beautiful background or even upload my own. If you want to make your videos even more recognizable, you can also add a logo to it. You can then change the position and scale of it to your likings. When you're happy with your edit, click export. Here you have a few other options, such as the video quality. If you want your video to be in 4K, then make sure it's selected. If needed, you can also normalize the audio levels and remove background noise. If you're ready, click on export. You can now create another clip or you can go back to the dashboard. If you scroll down, you can see all the clips you created. Click here to open up the menu. Now you can decide to publish, download, preview, rename, duplicate, copy the ID or even delete. It. When a clip is ready to be exported, it will say ready. If you click on it, you will be able to preview it. Open up the little menu and here you can rename it or continue editing if you want to make some changes. You can also download or delete it here. And now comes the best part. You can use this app everywhere in the world because they have a mobile version of it. You can create or join an existing studio. And of course, you can also record the conversation which will then be uploaded to the cloud. So let's move to Premiere. I downloaded the conversation of me and Matisse from Riverside and dragged it inside a timeline. First, we need to put them both into frame. You can do that by going to the effect controls and then adjusting the scale and position. Oh, and I downloaded this animated background from Storyblocks and then dragged it underneath my video. Now, I want both of us to sit inside a square. To do that, simply drop the crop effect on the video and create a square around it. Copy the effect and paste it on the video of the other person. Then adjust the position of both videos. I want the person who's speaking to come forward a little bit. To do that, start by making a cut every time someone starts and stops speaking. Now, go to the first clip and click on the stopwatch icon next to the 
scale property. Move a few frames forward and let the video zoom in a little bit. Make sure to set the first keyframe to ease out and the last one to ease in. Oh, check out last video if you want to learn about keyframes, by the way. Right click on the effect and choose save preset. This is an in animation, so select anchor to in point. You can call it person one in, for example. Now delete these two keyframes and move your player to the end of the clip. Then animate the video back to the original position. Again, save it as a preset, but this time select anchor to out point. Now you can find the presets in the presets folder. Drag them on all the clips of person one speaking. Follow the exact same steps for the second person and then it will look like this. Oh, how do we explain how the keyframes work in Premiere? Well, I think it's important to show And this is really beneficial when you're editing longer conversations. Isn't it fun to write down the captions of your entire podcast using the text tool? It isn't. S stop doing that. Premiere can create captions automatically and it also detects the different speakers. Go to the window menu and open up the text panel. On top of the window, click on the captions section. Select the transcribe sequence option. Now this window will pop up where you can select the language of the speakers or select which track you want Premiere to transcribe. Of course, we want to select the entire mix for this. Make sure this option is enabled so that Premiere can recognize the different speakers. Next, click transcribe and let Premiere do its thing. The program transcribed every single word and also also separates the speakers. Now open up the menu next to speaker and select edit speakers. Here you can change the name of the one who's talking. Then click on the CC button. This will open up another window where you can customize the captions. Click on create and there you go. Your podcast has subtitles. So how do we explain how the keyframes work in Premiere? Well, I think it's important to show examples with every keyframe. Now we want to add some music to the podcast, but we want it to duck when someone is speaking. Otherwise, you couldn't hear me right now. Open up the essential sound panel. Then make sure the voice clips are selected and click on dialogue. If you want, you can do some modifications to your voice here, but I'll give you another trick at the end of this video, so definitely keep watching. Now, select the soundtrack and click on the music tab. Expand the ducking effect and make sure it's enabled. You want the ducking to work against the dialogue, so you want to select that. With the sensitivity slider, you can, of course, change the sensitivity of the ducking. Choose the amount of ducking here and with these two sliders you can choose the duration and the position of the fades. Click on generate keyframes and that's all you gotta do. Well, I think it's important to show examples with every keyframe. Yeah, we gotta make sure that people understand what we're saying. All right, I wanna show you something really important. It's something I like to call the TikTok safe zone. It's a simple PNG that you can drag above the video to check if the most important parts are visible. This comes in really handy when you're adding text to the clip because you don't want TikTok to cover up important parts. You can also decrease the opacity so you can still see the entire video. Next, I'm gonna teach you how to make your voice sound like on a podcast. Click dialogue in the essential sound panel and expand the clarity tab. From the preset menu, select the podcast voice. You can increase or decrease the amount you're liking with this slider. Show examples with every keyframe. Yeah, we gotta make sure that people understand what we're saying. That sounds amazing. Now, if you wanna record your podcast with Riverside, you can try it for free by clicking on the link in the description. Or you can use the coupon code to get 15% off. I actually made a video about increasing your voice quality right here on my left, so definitely check that out. Now, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you, Riverside, for the support. And as always, stay creative. Goodbye.